UI UX designs is consistently evolving with the advances in technology and changing the user behavior. Designers must stay up to date with the latest trends and best practices to create effective designs. Artificial intelligence and machine learning in designs are becoming increasingly popular, allowing the designers to create more personalized and intelligent interfaces. Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the session on what is UI and UX design. Now let us explore our agenda for today's session. Firstly, in this video, we'll cover the basics of UI and UX designs, including the definition of UI and UX designs. And followed by, we will see why UI and UX designs are very important. After that, we will see some of the best practices for UI and UX designs. Then, we'll look into how do UI and UX designs work together. Then, we have the examples of UI and UX designs. Then finally, we will wind up the session with the future of UI and UX designs. The first concept that we are looking to is what are UI and UX designs? Basically, UI stands for your user interfaces and your UX stands for your user experiences. Now, the UI and UX designs refer to the process of designing the user interface and the user experiences of the digital products such as the website, mobile apps, and software applications. So, the goal of UI and UX designs is to create a user-centered design that are easy to use and aesthetically pleasing. So here the UI design is mainly focused on the designing the look and feel of the digital products, including the layouts, colors, typography, and the visual elements. The UI designer's job is to create a design that is visually appealing and easy to use. So personally, in my point of view, if the user interfaces is very easy to use, then only I'll be using any applications, right? So that is the main aim of any UI designers. So their main goal is to create a visually appealing and very easy to use a user interfaces. And in the other case, if you take the UX, so it is mainly focused on the designing the overall user experiences of the digital products. This includes the design of the user journey and the information architecture and the interactions that the user have with the product. Here, the UX designer's job is to make sure that the product is easy to use, efficient, and it meets the need of the users, whichever the application that the user uses. Right? So, for example, let's take any application. So, if the user experiences is good, so then only the user will be using it again and again. Or else, he will just delete that in first attempt or else he will just delete it. So what is the use of creating an application or any softwares, right? So the main goal of both UI and UX designers are it should be more visually appealing and easy to use, right? So there comes why UI and UX designs are very important. The good UI and UX designs is important for several reasons. So mainly the user satisfaction, as I said in the introduction, right? So the good UI and UX designs ensures that the user have a positive experiences with the product, leading to the increased customer satisfaction and loyalty. So when the users are satisfied with the product, then they are more likely to return and recommend it to others. And the next thing is to increase the engagement of the user. A well-designed UI and UX can increase the user engagement with a product, leading to increased in sales. So, when a product is visually appealing and easy to use, the users are more likely to spend time on it, so which can lead to increase in the revenue of the application. And the next important reason is to improve the brand perception. The good UI and UX design can improve a brand's perception by making it appear professional and trustworthy. 
When a product is well designed, the users are more likely to see the brand as a credible, leading to better customers' retentions and word of mouth reference. And the next reason is to reduce the development cost. So it can reduce the development cost by minimizing the need of the user training and support, as well as reducing the time and resources required for the bug fixing and updates. So when a product is easy to use and innovative, then it is less need for the user support, which can save money and time, right? And the next reason is competitive advantages. So, as a well-designed UI UX can provide a competitive advantages by setting a product apart from others in the market. So, when a product is visually appealing and easy to use, it can attract more users, leading to the increase in revenue and market shares. The accessibility. So here comes a good UI UX designs ensures that the products are accessible to all the users, regardless of their abilities or disabilities. When a product is accessible, it can create more inclusive and diverse user base, leading to increased revenues and the customer loyalty. So. When the application is visually appealing and easy to use, you will obviously use it without any frustration or less interaction. So eventually it will have a good user crowd. So that we have seen what is UI and UX design and its importance. Now let us see the best practices of UI and UX designs. So there are many best practices that the designer should follow when they are creating the UI UX designs. The first thing that they need to consider is conducting the user research. Before starting the design process, it is very important to understand the user's needs and the preference. So this can be done through the survey, interviews and other research methods. And the next thing that you need to consider is creating the user personas. So once you have understood the user, you can create the different personas that represents the different segments of your user base. These personas can help guide your design decisions. And the next thing you need to keep in mind is to keeping your application very simple. Good UI and UX design should be very easy to use and easy to understand. So this means using clear languages, avoiding clustering of layouts and minimizing the number of steps required to complete an action so that the application will be on the high. The next thing is focusing on the usability. The goal of good UI and UX designs is to create a product that is easy and intuitive to use. This means designing with the usability in mind and testing your designs with the real users to ensure that they are easy to navigate it. Then we have the using visual hierarchy. So visual hierarchy refers to the way that the visual elements are organized on a page. Good UI UX designs uses visual hierarchy to guide the user's attention and make it clear what actions they should take. Then the consistency. It is a very important point that all the designers to make sure. Good UI UX design should be consistent across all the pages and interactions. This means using the same fonts, colors and design elements throughout the product. Then we have the iterations. Good UI UX designs is an iterative process. Designers should be willing to test their designs, gather feedback, and make changes based on what they have learned. So if you follow all these best practices, then you will be the best designer in the field. So we have seen the best practices of UI UX designs. Now let us go and explore how this UI and UX work together. UI and UX designs are two closely related aspects of the design process for the digital products such as the web, apps and softwares. While they are distinct area of expertise, they work together to create a seamless and engaging user experiences. 
So as I said before, UI design is mainly focused on the visual elements and look and feel of the application. Whereas the UI designs focuses on all over your user experiences. While UI and UX designs are distinct area of focus, they are closely interconnected. UI designers needs to understand the principles of UX designs to create interfaces that are effective and user friendly. Whereas the UX designers in the other hand rely on the visual design created by the UI designers to convey information and create a cohesive user experiences. For example, UI designers might create a button that is visually appealing and consistent with the overall designs of the interfaces. A UX designer might then conduct the user testing to ensure that the button is easy to find and use and then it provides a clear and concise message to the user. In short, if I want to tell you how this UI and UX works together is to create the digital product that are not only visually appealing but also intuitive, user friendly and provides a positive overall experiences for the user. Now let us jump ahead and see some of the examples of UI UX designs. So there are many apps and web applications or softwares that are visually appealing and as well as the user experience are excellent. So let us see some of the good UI UX designs in the field. For example, Airbnb. It has a simple and intuitive interface, large images, concise typographic, clear calls to actions, etc. Even you can go and check their websites. Then we have the Dropbox. It has a clean and simple UI, consists of color schemes, clear navigations and call to actions. Then we have the Google Maps where it has a very user-friendly interfaces and has a clear and consistent icons, simple navigation, clear layouts, and it has very smooth experiences, right? Then we have Slack in our list. It has a communication and collaboration tool with a consistent color schemes, clear typography, and a simple navigations. Then we have Apple Music. So this application has a music streaming services with a visually appealing interfaces with a large images, clear call actions and simple layouts. So we have many other applications in the field. You can go and explore the UI UX designs benefits. Finally, let us take a look at the future of UI UX design. As technology continues to evolve, even the field of UI UX design will evolve too. So let us take a look at some trends to watch out in the coming years. So we have a voice UI. With the raise of smart speakers like Amazon Echo and Google Homes, voice user interfaces are becoming increasingly important. Designers will need to create interfaces that can be navigated with voice comments and ensure that these interfaces are easy and simple to use. Then we have the augmented reality. So in other trend that it sets to become increasingly important in the world of UI UX designs. Designers will need to create interfaces that can be used in an AR environment and ensures that these interfaces are visually appealing and easy to use. Then we have the gesture based interfaces. As touch screens become more common nowadays, so designers will need to create interfaces that allow the user to navigate and interact with the interface using the gestures. So this will require designers to think carefully about how to make these gestures simple and easy to use. Then finally, we have minimalism. As users become more used to using the digital interfaces, they will expect the interfaces to be more simple and easy to use. This means that the designer will need to focus on the creating clean, and minimalist designs that prioritize usability over the complexity. 
Overall, the future of UI UX design is likely to be focused on creating the interfaces that are simple and easy to use and personalized to the needs of individual users. As technology continues to evolve, designers will need to stay up to date with the latest trends and technologies to create interfaces that meets their demands. So that is it with the video. If I want to conclude or let's take a recap, then this video has talked about the UI UX designs. Then we have talked about the importance of UI UX designs. And we have seen some of the best practices to create effective designs. And we also looked at some of the examples of good UI UX designs. And we have explored some of the trends that are set to shape the future in the field. So with this, we have come to the end of the session on what is UI UX designs. We have lot more videos on this topic.